Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, 21st of May. Two thirds through May already. Amazing. Gonna be halfway through the year at the end of June. Spooky that. Uh, but let's not focus on the spooky, let's focus on the European Open. Aussie obviously in the crosshairs here. Um, RBA, dovish minutes, low, dovish. We're at the lows now here at 76. Uh, should probably pierce these 64 lows. This isn't going to go uh, streaming away uh, like a high speed river race here. Uh, so. What we're going to do is, is start playing with shorts here between uh, 80 and 60 uh, in order to just reload a little bit and trade for an average on part of our short position. It's just that kind of market. Um, there will be a lot of intraday shorts now because it was a pretty obvious move. Uh, so there will be some squeezes during the day might even look out for a possible double bottom forming at 68 65 just for the short term uh, we think that's going to break on wednesday with a, a more hawkish fomc than people um, are expecting uh, but anyway uh, aussie shorts the way forward I think this is going to get down to around 68.10 or 68 cents. So we want to remain short or have some sort of short on for the duration of this of this position. We here at Privateer will be trading it uh, from the, the 60 to 80 area. Dollar CAD, no bounce. We talked about this. Frustrated uh, with this trade. Dark CAD looks like it wants lower. Um, you got to be patient here. I don't know what's on the calendar today. Let's check. Um, you know, selling high ones is kind of the way forward here. Dollar CAD 40 to 50 today probably is going to get paid. No CAD data. We got CBI out of the UK, which is meaningless. Consumer confidence out of Euro. Probably going to be negative that. Existing home sales. And then we got more Fed speak and Kiwi retail sales tonight. But in general, a very, very mediocre, mediocre calendar today. So we're looking for a very rangy tug of war here um, dollar cad we think you sell between 40 and 50 today let's go to stocks obviously there was a headline about a reprieve from um, from Trumpy um, Japanese telecom I mean uh, Chinese telecom makers are, are gonna get a three-month reprieve about accessing uh, U.S. chips and U.S. software and code and whatever. Um, Shanghai got a bit of a boost, one and a half percent, but this is, you know, this means nothing. We're dead set in the middle here. Hopefully, you you bought some yesterday, um, and even if you didn't, it's fine. You know, your average now is is well above 90 if you're trading this. Today, we, we will we'll start to get short, I don't know, let's say between uh, 74, uh, 74 and, and 94. So you got to see what the story is, see, you know, how the price looks. But we're still in the same camp. We are trading the range here from the short side. We think 2900 is going to cap it. We're worried about headline bombs from Trump. 
which can drive this thing 20, 40, 60 handles higher. So you need to be prepared for that. Very difficult uh, trading conditions in a sense that there's real no rhyme or reason to it. Um, but we look, we're looking for basically sideways here, uh, selling high ones. So we have ammo uh, when we get down through 2780. We still have options on at 2750 that expire mid June. Um, we sold 2700 calls against them, so it's not a very powerful structure. But um, this is when we'll be sharpening our knives. Prices down below 2770 or 2780, which is the 200 day here. Uh, but until then, we sell high ones try and grab cash, create a better average for what we think is the inevitable uh, move south. Although the word inevitable um, is a bit of a spooky one. We don't want to use that in trading because nothing is really inevitable. you got to play the cards that you're dealt. Let's go to BTPs. Bearish day yesterday. Uh, playing this on the short side as well says pre-market it's going to open at 47. I don't think so. I think it's probably going to open a little bit higher here. Um, but today we'll, <clears throat> we'll be selling between 75 and 95. We do have our core short on going into the European elections. Uh, we think there's risk for quite a bit lower here in BTPs. Lower high, lower low yesterday. We want to see a continuation of that. The high yesterday was 02, so we don't really expect to see prices above 02, selling between 75 and 95. Sterling, no bounce, no movement, uh, all sorts of bullshit going on with Parliament and Theresa May and who's next, and I don't uh, begin to understand it, but there is a little minor groundswell about second referendum and if there is a second referendum, you don't have to wait for the vote. We, I think we pretty much all know how this vote's going to go. Um, that will be very bullish for Sterling. On the negative side, if some whack job Tory um, hard Brexiteer guy gets control of the, uh, of the wheel, that's going to just be negative Sterling. Although it just means nothing is going to happen, just going to things are going to get locked up because Parliament's not going to let a hard Brexit happen. Um, so it's unclear how that's going to go. We're just avoiding Sterling um, until it's five star. I see nothing five star here at all. Um, so we just wait. FX is pretty weak, I gotta say. One of the charts that I do like is, is Swiss Yen. Um, this looks kind of turny here. One of the reasons I like is I think Dollar Swiss is gonna pop on Wednesday night, and, and Swiss Yen uh, oftentimes is driven by Dollar Swiss. Dollar Yen, I think, is in a downtrend. Dollar Swiss, I think, is waiting to surprise on the upside. Um, so I like Swiss Yen. Also kind of dovetails with moderately risk-off, but Swiss Yen is more of a neutral pair on risk-off. It trades very, very technically. Um, and it looks to me like we're, we're preparing for a turn, and we're quite close to you know your natural stop, which is above 109.21. Um, take a look at Swiss Yen, left-hand side. Uh, and it's a, it's a pair you can hold into FOMC. Because technically it'll be a dollar move only. So um, you're not going to be at risk of having to cut positions going into tomorrow night's FOMC, which will be the highlight of the week. Not much else to say. Uh, FX vol is obviously still completely dead. Uh, it's a treacherous time to take big bets. We are keeping things light here with the philosophy and the goal of just keeping our seat. With that, I will wish you luck and much profit. 
or scratch as much nickels and dimes as you can out of this marketplace. And I will see you tomorrow.